Hey, it's Nathan with crazymarketing.com and in this video I'm going to do a little tour of the ClickFunnels 2.0 dashboard because it does function a little bit different than the ClickFunnels Classic and ClickFunnels 2.0 does a bunch of stuff so I kind of want to try and give you a little bit of detail so you can understand how it all works and fits together. And so we'll just go down this navigation menu on the left hand side. So here we are on the dashboard and you can see it's kind of like an overview slash get started page. So what do you want to build? Funnels, here's your workflows, courses, customer center and recent activity right here so a typical dashboard that just has you know a collection of stuff then we get into sites and this is probably where you'll spend most of your time so ClickFunnels 2.0 lets you build an entire website versus like ClickFunnels classic you just built pages and funnels and you could make a website by you know building separate pages and connecting them well ClickFunnels 2.0 like comes ready for you to have a full website so it has website type features and functionality, like it has a home page, it has a blog, and other ways for you to make pages so that way you can build a full on website. So you don't have to have a blog and a website over here and then you have your funnels and click funnels. You can do it all within click funnels because click funnels is built to support a website too. So here in the overview, this is where you go ahead and you set up your website and you customize your theme and settings and all that. And of course I have videos going over how to set up your theme and change your colors and build your pages and all that. So check out my channel for more videos. Then we have the blog. So you're able to write blog posts and post them on your ClickFunnels site. And they are actually good looking blog posts. It does have a lot of functions and features for adding SEO information and social media sharing information. And you can add your Facebook pixel and all that type of stuff. So it's like a fully functioning blog. You have categories, different authors and things like that. So it is a full blog, but of course you don't have to do this. If you already have a WordPress blog, then you can use that. And you don't have to use this function or feature at all. Up next we have community and so this is like a forum basically so your users your customers can go in here and they can ask questions or post content or you can create content and so on so it's just like a forum or like a facebook group essentially so instead of sending somebody to a facebook group they can do it all within their account that they have with you in this community center so it's a pretty nice feature for keeping everybody together and so that way you're not sending someone somewhere else in order to interact with you up next we have store and this is kind of like an e-commerce store now you don't have to sell physical physical products through your store you can sell digital products but it gives you a storefront and so that way people can browse through all the products and services that you offer and they could go ahead and buy like they would through like a shopify store so this store kind of takes the place of like a shopify store now it's not as advanced as Shopify is. However, it might suit your needs. But of course, if you don't need a storefront, then you don't have to use this feature. But it is here and it nicely integrates with your site. Up next, we have Customer Center. So this is where your customers can log in and they'd be able to view all their purchases or course access, their enrollments in your communities and all that other type of stuff. So they can access their account. They could cancel their account if they have a subscription. So it handles all that type of stuff right here in the customer dashboard. So it's a nice thing and it helps cut down on support you may have to provide your customers because they can do it all on their own. Then we have the funnels and this is basically ClickFunnels Classic right here. Just this one section is the funnels and here you can build your opt-in funnels, your sales funnels, your webinar funnels and so on. So all the funnels and everything go right in this area. And so you can use ClickFunnels 2.0 for essentially just building funnels just like you normally would. So you have your website on WordPress and then you build your funnels and ClickFunnels and you keep them as two separate entities and that is perfectly fine. The funnels are your typical sales funnels just like you would expect to have. Up here are pages. So these are all the pages within your website. So they're your website pages and they're also your funnel pages. So you can see all the pages that you have created within your account and you can get links to all of them so that we can see like what the heck you've done and where everything is. And it's just a nice repository of everything you've created and or are trying to figure out how to access. So that is nice. URL redirect, so if you want to send somebody to another page, you can go ahead and set this up. So they could go to crazymedia.com and it takes them to google.com. So you can send them anywhere you want. Now courses, you can go ahead and set up various courses that you want to sell. So if you're offering digital products, they have a courses section where you can go ahead and offer your courses and it's a very good course tool. Like it's very similar to Teachable or Thinkific. Like you're able to create modules and lessons and all that type of stuff and it does a really good job. And since everything's interconnected, like your courses, your community, your customer center, your funnels and all that stuff is connected, it gives your customers one place to 
go. And then moving on down, we have domains. So you can go ahead and connect your domains here. So you can see I have my domain already connected. Depending on which ClickFunnels 2.0 membership you have, you're gonna have multiple domains and this is where you go ahead and add them. And then here's URL. So this is all the URLs that you have within your website. So it's quite similar to the pages, but it just gives you a list of all the URLs that are available so you can see what is out there. And of course I have videos on all these different topics. So if you wanna set up a blog or a store or funnels, you know, check out my channel for those videos. All right, moving on down, we also have funnels here. So this will actually link to the same area that we're already at. So this just brings you to the funnels area. Then we have products, and this is where you go ahead and create your products that you sell, whether it's a physical product or a digital product. And there's a bunch of different options and settings and stuff like that. And what's really cool about ClickFunnels 2.0 is that you can use the same product in different funnels. Like you don't have to create a new product for each funnel. You can use the same product across multiple funnels. So that's something different compared to ClickFunnels Classic. So if you're familiar with ClickFunnels Classic, ClickFunnels 2.0 is so much better when it comes to products, a lot easier to use. But anyway, this is where you go ahead and set up your products you can also have collections and they have discounts and inventory coming soon so that could be useful but they also have product tags so that we could keep all your products organized if you want to do that up next we have your order so these are all the orders that have come through and you can get a bunch of analytics and statistics on how everything's doing and performing you can look at the invoices payments subscriptions fulfillments and abandoned carts taking an idea of everything that's going on in your account when it comes to your customers ordering your products and services Moving on, we have contacts. So this is where you can manage all your contacts that you have. You can organize them, you can segment them. Additionally, you could import contacts. So if you already have a list somewhere, you could import it into your ClickFunnels account and you could also go ahead and give them access to a course or something like that. And it really gives you a lot of control over your customers and it's a very clean interface. Moving on, we have analytics right here. So this gives you all the analytics of your funnels and your website. So you can easily see how things are doing, how many people are opting in, how many people are buying, what the drop off rate is. It really gives a lot of information right here and basically does a better job than Google Analytics can unless you're a master at setting up Google Analytics, but everything is right here within ClickFunnels. So that's very nice. You can see your different page conversion rates and yeah, it's, it's a really nice dashboard for analytics and you don't have to worry about integrating it with some other third party tool. So I like that feature a lot. Then we get into marketing. And so this is all the marketing automation and broadcasts and workflows. And the workflows are actually very powerful and user friendly compared to Actionetics. If you use Actionetics before from ClickFunnels Classic, you know it was not the simplest thing. However, workflows are actually very simple and work a lot like Active Campaign. So if you're familiar with Active Campaign and how those workflows or automations function, well then workflows in ClickFunnels 2.0 is very, very similar. And it's like a drag and drop editor builder. You can do conditions and delays and all the other type of stuff to really have good custom workflows, which are sending out your email marketing automation and everything else. Additionally, you could go ahead and just send broadcast messages. They have countdown funnels and countdown timers and so on. So that way, if you're doing a product launch, you could go ahead and set up a countdown funnel that has timers that expire and pages expire and all that type of stuff. So it can give people a sense of urgency when it comes to buying your products or services if that's something you wanna go ahead and do. And then we have Payments AI, which is a third-party tool, but it integrates with Stripe and PayPal and Coinbase and lets you handle all the payments and stuff like that. But anyway, that's a tour of the ClickFunnels 2.0 dashboard. Just to reiterate, ClickFunnels 2.0 lets you build a full site. It's not just funnels. So you can have a blog, you can have a storefront, you can have pages with information. Plus you can have your sales funnels, your membership sites or courses. You have the community center and your customer center and your marketing automation and emails, plus all the analytics for tracking everything, and it's all in one place. And of course, if you want more details on how to do this stuff, I have a whole bunch of ClickFunnels 2.0 videos on my channel, so please check it out. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate it. Switch the likes, comments, subscribes, and or please check out crazyeyemarketing.com. And other than that, I hope you have a great rest of the day.